Welcome to Simply Apple. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to add a video file into iBooks Author. As you can see, I have a sample iBooks Author document opened up, and I want to add the video in the upper right hand part of your screen, which is on my desktop, into iBooks Author. This video format is a .mov. So as I click and drag this file onto iBooks Author and let go, I get a warning box that tells me that this video format is not supported. In fact, in order to insert a video into iBooks Author, the video needs to be a .m4v file. This means that we need to convert our .mov file into a .m4v file. And to do this, we're going to use QuickTime Player. As you can see, QuickTime Player is open in my menu bar. I'm going to go to File, Open File, and I'm going to select the video file that I want to open. In this case, the file on my desktop. I click Open, and as you can see, that video file is now open up in QuickTime Player. Once again, I'm going to go back up to the File button in the menu bar and select Export. You can change the name of your file. You can also select the location that you want to save the file at, as well as you can change the format. In this case, I'm going to keep it on the iPad, iPhone, and Apple TV setting. Once you've selected the name, the location, and the format, simply go ahead and click on Export, and QuickTime Player will begin exporting your file, and as you can see, it's getting ready to save it as a .m4v file. And now with the magic of video editing, my export is almost complete. Once again, in the desktop, you will see now that I have two movie files. One is a .mov and one is a .m4v. That is the file that we just exported. At this time, I'm going to go ahead and close QuickTime Player. I'm going to go ahead and drag that .m4v file into iBooks Author. And now, as you can see on your screen, the .m4v file has been successfully added to iBooks Author. At this point, you can reposition or resize the video. And when I press on the play button, the video will begin to play. Well, there you have it, adding a video file in iBooks Author. Until next time, this is Simply Apple.